we might just title this the trio that nobody's going to buy because it's Riesling. But here's the problem. People say, oh, I don't like Riesling. I don't like sweet wine. Well, we have sugar in most of our beverages during the day. Your morning coffee's probably got some sugar in it. Your, your afternoon uh, soda's got sugar in it. So just lay off the no sugar in your wine. It's actually good. So the first wine of the trio is the Dunham Lewis Vineyards 2015. It has some residual sugar. It's sweet, but guess what it's great with? It's great with spicy food. So take this bottle of wine, throw it at some three-star pad thai, and you'll go, hmm, I think I like sweet wine. Then, once you get done with that experience, you will have a almost dry Riesling from Tempest Cellars 2018 Evergreen Vineyard. Um, it has 7.5 grams per liter sugar. What does that mean? It means you won't notice that there's any sugar in there. Um, what's it good with? Uh, it's probably good with like ceviche, though we don't make ceviche at home very much, but we do make tacos. Sometimes when I'm making tacos, I want the wine to be that little squeeze of lime on top of the whole thing. So that's when I'd open up Tempest. It has sort of high citrus notes, um, and it's made by Joe, who's a super nice guy. Then, the third Riesling is from Troon. Uh, it is an orange wine. Orange wine, it's a confusing term because there's no oranges involved. In fact, the uh, TTB, uh, it's an, it's, they won't allow you to put the word orange wine on your labels in America, so uh, they write whole grape ferment, which is not any more elucidating, other than Usually, when making a white wine, you take the grapes out of the system uh, very early so that you don't impart any of the color or any of the uh, tannin that might be in that grape. Whereas, what they do at Troon, which is, the, is a sort of ancient winemaking technique of leaving the skins in there. And so you do impart color, you do impart structure, and yes, it has the soul of Riesling, but it's also got this other weird thing about it. It's textural. Um, it's really cool. And so what do you do with that? Well, I've had a lot of luck with tartars and uh, with the other white meat, uh, pork loins, uh, things of that nature that might enjoy a little bit of tannin, but don't want like a red wine structure. When I think about having a, 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 like a pork chop, I'm not thinking about red wine, I'm thinking about white wine or orange wine, because it will have that same relationship that, uh, that red wines have with fat, only it's a white wine. So there you go. Nobody's going to order this because it's Riesling and we don't like sweet wine. Bet you'll love this one. Bet you'll love it.